بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم Honorable Chair, fellow colleagues, and dear audience, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So my topic is Islamic unity in the light of Damascus sermon. Muslims are facing many problems after the decline of Ottoman Khalafat, like disunity, ignorance, and poverty till today. Among them, disunity was the serious problem many ulema Theologian, intellectual, and revivalists explored the ways to unite the Muslim Ummah throughout the ages. Likewise, Buddha Jaban Said Nursi presented the concept of Islamic unity to unite the uh, Muslim Ummah in his Damascus Sermon in uh, 1911. Uh, he used the unity and its related movement as Ittihadi, Ittihadi Islam and popularized it with the term, Arabic term, Ittihadi Muhammadi. To spread and popularize this movement, he wrote in uh, newspapers, articles, gave public speeches in Damascus Mosque, wrote hundreds of pages, organized a movement for extending Islamic unity, and finally encouraged democratic ruler to implement some Islamic issues and uh, connect it with the Muslim world for global Islamic unity. The main objective of this study are to ad identify the concept of idea of uh, Islamic unity by Said Nursi and the theological and doctrinal aspect of Islamic unity in the light of Damascus sermon. The factors behind the uh, disunity among the Muslims, solutions of this problem, this unity, uh, this study employs content analysis, his sermon, and other related literature. So Said Nursi is a vital and fresh example for Islamic unity of the world. During the period of New Side, he denounced politics as and the act of Satan, and rather concentrated upon more constructive and creative works that was included writing the commentaries of explanation of the Holy Quran to preserve and nurture the fragile faith of the believers and strengthen the loose fraternity among the Muslims all over the world. He dreamed of Islamic unity and love among the nations and faith communities of the world for establishing global peace and harmony. <clears throat> so I'm, uh, I'm uh, going through uh, the definition of Sayyid Nursi himself gave uh, about his unity. What is, uh, I'm quoting him. Uh, quote, uh, what is meant when we say Ittihadi Muhammadi, which is Islamic unity, is the unity between on all believers, wherever potential or actual, uh, unquote. So brief outline of the Islamic unity by uh, Sayyid Nursi, so according, uh, according to his views, its foundation strays from east to west, from north to south, its center at the holy places of Makkah and Medina, its point of unity is divine unity, his oath and place is belief, his uh, code of uh, regulation, the practices of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his course of law and the commands of prohibition of Sharia, his club and council, all the religious schools, mosques and Sufi meeting houses, the society's eternal prayers organs are all Islamic books, and its constant on is foremost and uh, the, uh, foremost the Quran and the Quranic commentaries as well as moderate religious paper and journals whose aim is to uphold the order of God. Its membership consists of all believers and its leaders of the glory of the world. Peace be upon him. Aim and purposes of this union, according to Said Nursi, the aim and purposes of this noble union will be awakening and attaining the attaining of attention of Muslims, upholding the order of Allah and jihad in the way of Allah in own soul. His purpose was not to gain any political power or chair or any other worldly benefits, but rather to gain the attention of inner souls and moral beliefs. Lastly, advice to consultative nature of uh, brotherhood among believers. Uh, he argues, uh, I'm quoting him, uh, quote, what we own now in awakening and attentioning of all believers for the effect of public attention is undeniable. The aim of the uh, union and its purpose uh, is to uphold the order of God, and its way is to waste the greater jihad, jihad manabi, with one soul uh, and with one soul, and to guide others. 99% of the endeavors of this blessed society are not political. They are rather turned towards good morals and moderation, which are the opposite of politics and other lawful aims. For every a uh, few societies have adopted this as their function, although uh, its value and importance is immense. Only one out of 100 of its members will be uh, connected with politics 
by way of offering guidance of politician. Their source and decisive proofs, and just as their way is love. So will they encourage the love included in the seed of brotherhood between believers to grow like a tree of tuba. So agenda of this union, so I'm going first just mentioning some points. Thou of pers persuasion, no competition with others, unity with other societies, common goals, our practice and activities. So I'm just quoting from here, uh, unity with other societies. Said Nursi, he argues and he gave emphasis to make unity with other societies, but there are three conditions. I'm quoting him, that they, the, they preserve the freedom which is in accordance with Sharia and public order. Secondly, that the act out of love and do not smear other groups for self-advantage. If anyone in error, they should refer it to religious authorities who collectively constitute the mufti of the ummah. Thirdly, any society whose aim is upholding the word of God cannot in any way be the means of animosity and serving its own ends. Even if it wants to, it will not be successful because to do so is duplicity. So characteristics of this union. So the Islamic unity has some very pragmatic and persuasive characteristics that were in a, an organized from the different pages of uh, Damascus 7. <coughs> For the sake of better understanding of our reader, we have to, we have jotted down uh, this uh, characteristic each in an organized manner below like this. We love religion and the world, unity between all believers, upholding the word of God, uh, divine unity, all are equal in the union. Even a sinner is a member of this union. So I'm just going through some characteristics of the, this union. Uh, the union of, uh, the way of this union is love. Its enmity is only for ignorance, poverty, and strife. No Muslim should feel sure that this union attacks only those three facts. Our action towards non-Muslim consists only of persuasion. For we know, uh, we know them to be uh, civilized, and we suppose them to be fair-minded, so we should demonstrate that Islam is lovable and elevated. The lax and the negligent should know that they cannot uh, engage uh, uh, themselves with the, uh, with the European by being irreligious, for they only show that they are unprincipled. No one likes uh, unprincipledness and anarchy. Those who join the union after due investigation will not leave it by blindly imitating such people. Lastly, if anyone has any objection, let him voice them. We are ready to answer them. And last one, the bigger portion, three enemies and six sickness, sicknesses of Ummah. Uh, but it will take time, so I am skipping this chapter. Just I'm going through the conclusion. Through a close examination, the selected extract identifies the concept and idea of Islamic unity in the Damascus Sermon of Sayyid Nursi. Islam is for, uh, for the welfare of the whole universe through the unity of mankind. The true Islamic teachings focus on unity, and it is mandatory for all Muslims. Uh, the real followers of Islam cannot promote any activity against unity. There are lots of factors that help to unite Muslims. Uh, the way of Islamic unity is possible through holding the Quranic, uh, Quran tightly, friendship and fraternity and brotherhood. Uh, there are lots of obstacles before unity, uh, like uh, lax uh, laxity in observing Islamic morality and the way of life. Uh, however, uh, Sayyid Nursi is a pragmatic example of Islamic unity in the present world. He implemented his theory of Ittihadi Muhammadi through his tolerance, sincerity, and sympathy to people of different opinions. He dreamed of Islamic unity and love among all faith communities of the world to establish all peace. Further study is necessary to explore how to implement Sayyid Nursi's theory and ideas of Islamic unity for the betterment of different countries. Uh, thank you all. Mm -hmm. uh